Good morning, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. Wow. Your energy must be lively, Leo. I'm going to show you these, but I'm going to put them back. Yeah, tower moment. But with that tower moment brings out choices. Okay. And you are doing a lot of work on yourself. Mm, a lot of realizations going on with you at the moment. Okay, let's see. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out again. Okay, let's just give these cards one or two more shuffles. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yeah, told you if they're meant to come out, they will come out. Tower moment, final realisations, okay. Perhaps somebody from your past showing up uninvited and unexpectedly. All right, there's a lot of confusion about this. You don't know their intentions. They haven't made that clear. There is a lot of speculating going on at the moment. Mm. You're very, very uncertain about your feelings. Okay. Now, a lot of you could be in a situation where you're settled down with somebody else. You know, somebody very, very sensitive. You could have even got married. You know, when we're talking energy from tarot and energy from the universe, it doesn't recognize time distance. One year, five years, doesn't matter. This particular energy is coming round. And of course, the situation would be different with all of you because it's a general read, okay? This is why I say take it how it resonates. You're faced with decision now, or decisions on how to proceed. Your intuition is spot on. It's not a time to suppress it. Okay, it's not a time to speculate. A lot of you do feel you're being held back by other people. In the past, you put other people's feelings before your own. Mm, why? Why have you hurt yourself to, to preserve somebody else's feelings? Hmm. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself and you was also doing a lot of work on a situation and trying to rebuild. There was a lot of distractions here. There's been a lot of indecision, a lot of backtracking. Should I leave? Should I go? Should I go? Should I stay? So to speak. Back then there was a lot of uncertainty. You know, your intuition was just beginning to gain speed. It was beginning to gain its power. You were actually starting to listen to it. It is now the time to be totally honest with yourself on what you want and totally honest about the past. You can do this with yourself because there's nobody else listening, okay? But it is a time to kind of face the truth. Either way, there's an offer here, very tempting. But there's trust issues. If you want to pursue this avenue, you will have to give up something. It comes with a price tag. Okay, now many of you may be in another situation. You could even be married. Don't forget, karma doesn't see time. This past person, you know, could be from five years ago, ten years ago. But it's reawakening feelings. A lot of speculation. You're going to come up, whatever route you take, you're going to come up against some differences of opinion. Okay, you're going to have to kind of negotiate your way through these using tact, guile, do it without trying to hurt anybody. Yeah, some very, very strong opposition here.
In a funny sort of way, in a perverse sort of way, the universe is giving you a gift here. It's giving you what you want. Mm, you may not feel like it, but it is. Because the choice is in your lap. It's, you know, regardless of what the other person's doing, mm, there is an opportunity here, but yeah. It is the fruition, like I say, a gift from the efforts you put in in the past. But there's also a situation here that you're kind of happy in a certain way, but you're not emotionally or, you know, you're not totally satisfied. You feel there's something more out there. All right. A lot of you are looking for closure. There is a lot of unanswered questions here, OK? A lot of unanswered questions. You feel this person is deceiving you or manipulating you. They're not telling you the whole story. Like I say, it is a time to trust your intuition. Try not to speculate too much. Mm. You certainly don't want to repeat any past cycles. There's red flags all over this. Okay, trust that. Make your decisions and act accordingly. That's what it's saying. All right. Nobody can make this decision for you. You do feel you're being held back, though. You've, you, a lot of you are in a particular situation where it's kind of difficult to get out of. You certainly have the foresight now of not putting yourself in a position that's going to be difficult to get out of if you can follow that you do have options patience is the key okay some of you aren't even interested you know a lot of you want your independence but a lot of you will come to terms with your past and even on the career front you know you feel you've been feeling trapped You put your resume out there, there's an answer coming back, but you can't move yet, possibly because of contracts or circumstances. But whatever, this is all about getting your power back, seeing the beauty within yourself, acting on your strengths, not your weaknesses, all right? And dropping a lot of responsibilities from the past, dropping a lot of the codependency, becoming more independent, breaking free, and that, in a perverse sort of way, gives you the ability to start thinking clearly. This smoke screen that you're in now, you know, through your own volition, will clear. You'll be able to concentrate on the things that you want to concentrate on, the people that you want to concentrate on, the situations that you want to concentrate on. And you can build yourself a nice little comfort zone, a nice little lifestyle through this. If you choose. You will of course have to put a bit of work in it. There will be delays, yes. But overall, there's progress here. Thanks very much for watching.